this is your five minute geography lesson. We're covering theme one, element 11, wave cut platforms. Pens at the ready, I'm Mr. S and I'll be your five minute teacher. The erosion and retreat of a cliff produces two unique landforms called wave cut notches and wave cut platforms. So let's have a look at those in sequence. So in front of us, we have a diagram that represents a headland and the sea. So our headland here, which sticks out into the sea because it's made of more resistant rock. And at the high tide level, so where the water is at its deepest along the coast, we're going to get most of the erosion occurring around the base of the cliff here. So the majority of this cliff up here is not going to see any predominant erosion from the sea. So you're not going to have any hydraulic action or abrasion or solution because that, all that is focused around this area where the, the water can actually reach. So as this uh, erodes away, eventually this cliff will end up collapsing. So this process is called retreat because the headland is moving back towards the coast as the water erodes away at this cliff. Now, the way in which this actually occurs is where we get our wave cut notch. So because this water can only really erode at the base of the cliff, the hydraulic action and then the abrasion are going to create a uh, sort of curved notch at the bottom or a curved divot or indent in the bottom of this cliff. And that's the wave cut notch. So this is signified by the darker colour, the indentation into the rock cavity. And the water is coming in here, hydraulic action is compressing air in forcing cracks into, to be, become larger and abrasion, the sandpaper effect is eroding the sides of this as well. So we end up with this indentation, this little small cave, it's not really a cave, more of a circular indentation in the actual base of the cliff. So we've got the hydraulic action and abrasion eroding the base of the cliff creating an undercut called a wave cut notch. And this is a dent in the cliff usually around the high tide level. And that's important because it's going to signify something that's going to come next with our next landform. So we've got our notch, it's been eroding away. But now this area here is going to be more unsupported. It's heavy rock, so eventually it's going to collapse into the sea. So again, this is cliff retreat. So this area here is now collapsed in and the edge of the cliff is now back further towards the coast. What ends up happening is this material gets taken back out to sea in the backwash. And then during the low tide, what we start to see is this level platform appearing. So what's actually happening here is as that wave cut notch is undercutting the rock and then the rest of it collapses, the cliff is retreating. But the retreat and erosion is only occurring at the high tide level and above. So that means that everything at the low tide level and below is still where it was. So this cliff would have once extended out over to here, but because it's eroding at the high tide and cutting it back and pushing and pushing and pushing the cliff further and further back, it's created this level platform which is called a wave cut platform. It's a flat surface and it looks quite unique and we're going to show you some examples of this now. So the picture on the right is an example of a wave cut notch. So you can see here this picture is taken at around low tide the water is receding but at high tide the water will be crashing against the side of the cliff hydraulic action will be forcing its air into these cracks and making them bigger and the sandpaper effect of abrasion is sanding away and making this smoother and receding in you can see that this rock here that is now unsupported beneath because of that erosion and when this erosion gets a little bit deeper in the weight of this rock is going to be too great and that will end up collapsing down you can already see here a bit of a wave cut platform starting to be produced. It looks quite flat. If we look at the picture on the left, you can see a really pronounced wave cut platform. So the water is definitely at low tide here because we can see the entirety of the platform. You can even see where the platform itself is starting to erode away at low tide. But this cliff would have once extended out over here, maybe it's even further out when the wave cut platform used to be a bit wider as well. And as this cliff has been eroded at the, high tide at the high tide line, it's moved this cliff further backwards, leaving this really flat platform, the wave cut platform. And you can even see in the distance here where the 
we've got notches that are starting to occur on this side during the high tide. Well, that's it for today. We'll continue your revision by completing the Now Try It tasks for homework. Class dismissed.